Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dkmindguru.com. I'm working in Infinity Designer to show you how to create a pattern like this. And to make it even more interesting, I'm trying to bring it into a skyline shape. So we're going to mix the dots with the skyline. The main issue with this in Affinity Designer is that there is no morph tool. Usually you would go in and create a larger circle and a smaller circle and let the program calculate the circles in between in X amount of steps. Affinity Designer does not have this solution. So I'm trying to do this manually. I start with one circle, give it a set size, in this case of 30 by 30 pixels, and then I set the nudge distance to the same size so when I press the cursor key, the object will be moved by exactly that distance. So I can easily place one dot, duplicate it and duplicate it again and then just duplicate a whole group until I have one row. And if I would have looked closely, I would have noticed that the circles should be overlapping. So here I go again with a larger circle, still the same distance of 30 by 30 pixels. I then go in and duplicate my circles to cover up the whole cityscape. Next up I go in and delete all the circles that are in empty areas. They are not covering the silhouette of my city so we don't need them. I select and delete them. Now we have something that has the shape we're after. I create a new layer and copy a few circles into that one and then manually go in and change the size using the transform. Locking the width and height means I just have to put one value in and decrease that with each step. Once I have these sequences, I copy them and delete every second one to have a shorter version of them. I then duplicate them and place them into the silhouettes on top of the circles I already have. The key is to move them using the cursor keys so every circle is aligned perfectly. So each time I duplicate, I just press the cursor and my dots are moved by 30 pixels in whatever direction I need to move them. So then it's a matter of placing these, going loosely here, a little bit of artistic freedom to make it look interesting. Once I have all the top areas covered, I go in and delete the circles in the layer below where I placed a smaller version, remembering to fill in areas I missed. Seeing I locked the top layer, it's easy to select a multitude of dots and delete them. A quick fix and we should have the complete skyline. I group the two layers and give the group a gradient overlay, duplicate it, mirror it, and we should have our skyline or something resembling it because I have taken the creative freedom a little bit too far. The solution to that would be to make more dots, smaller dots, and less of a sequence at the top. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial nevertheless. If you learned something new today, hit the like button to celebrate your new bit of knowledge. To help you remember everything you've learned even better, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below to let me know what you would like to see in this channel or on my website. And I will see you again soon.